Oh. Hey guys, I'm back. Um, we got some turtles here in the background. Uh, I don't know if you can see them very well. He's that oval shaped thing on the uh, smaller log that back. Oh. Uh, right there. He's a little guy then. You can't see it on the camera though, but there was a few more swimming along that log over there. And I uh, just wanted to show you some of the turtles. Uh, there's probably some more. Uh, probably back over there by that brush on that uh, log and whew. just want to say again this place is beautiful and uh, I think that's another one back there if I can get the shot no I don't think I did there I think there's another turtle up there and, and if you can see it let me know Oop. there's another bite we're not having much luck, but we're hearing bites. Big bites. There's one way back. Oh, I gotta get out of the way of the camera. There's one way back there uh, that we heard. I think it might have been a catfish. And there's a bunch of trout lines cr around here. Like, uh, I don't even remember how many we counted. I think it was four or five. There's. There's one back there, on the side there. I mean, just just a beautiful place. I look forward to coming here almost every time. And if, if we don't catch any more fish here, we're just gonna go to a new spot, and I'll I'll vlog that so you can see it. And uh, yeah, that's probably it. So I'm just gonna show you the lure I used too catch that uh, that striper I forgot to show you that just gonna let you know ahead of time I got an antique pole there's the lure it's not too bad it's, uh, Kevin Van Dan it's a uh, black back and it's a uh, it vibrates like it wobbles in there and uh, this is a antique pole it's actually a uh, I think it's a Shakespeare. Uh, no, it's a Daiwa. I got two antique poles. I got one back at the place. And then I got a... I don't even know what reel that is. Outfitter. And I don't know what pound line I have. I do have one tip for you. See how this has uh, tape right there? That's to show uh, what poundage your pole is, or how strong it is. I mean, I have I marked my poles for how strong they are, and what poundage line they have. That'll help you a whole lot when you are trying to fish. Uh, Dave learned that um, by watching on YouTube and stuff, and he taught it to me, and so now I'm teaching it to you. And it helps a whole lot. I mean, it, it makes everything much easier. Uh, and here's an example, like. Uh, my light, my lightweight poles. Those will have one band of uh, tape. I recommend electrical tape. And then my uh, heavyweight poles. That for, let's just say catfishing and stuff. That's uh, three pieces of tape. And then just the medium. That's just two pieces. Like two rings, like wrapped around the tape, wrapped around the pole. And so uh, that's all for the vlog for right now. Bye guys.